video of this real quick. Uh, we need you on the right side, right? Thank you. That sounds good. Alright, so after a long day, <laughs> after a long day, we have a bus. I was concerned for a moment, but then I realized, why fret? Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, heading back home, gonna park it, get started. Literally just got the bus today. I'm trying to uh, get my bearings and figure out what I'm gonna start on first. I am going to see how hard it is to take these seats out because I don't wanna to have to worry about using uh, an angle grinder. I have one, I just don't wanna use it. All right, so I'm gonna get these seats out and I'm gonna to try to work on this back door situation. So I have this back door that's super cracked, right? I don't want to get any more rain inside here. So I'm also going to try to fix that however I can. Now time to work on these, these ridiculous things. Let's go. I'm going to take a seat here. All right. Out of the many seats, I'm going to take a seat here. All right, let's see what I can get out of my bag of tricks. My goal is to be able to hook up one of these guys to my, uh, my drill and get that up. So let's see what I can do. Let's see here. Oh, one more. It's a 15 out of 14. Bingo. We have a bingo. All right, we're getting somewhere. Yo, so real quick from that little video clip right there of me uh, working on the, the seat with the wrench, it actually did not work. That bolt just kept on spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. So yes, unfortunately, I am going to have to bust out the angle grinder on it, but no worries. We'll get to that in another video, but I just wanted to get that information to you so we can segue to something else all right let's keep watching now it's time to do some sketchy uh city style repairs on it can't wait to wash it whoo my bus is a freaking mess right now but hopefully it won't be too much trouble to get washed I got some degreaser for the last little bit of things. I know that's a, I know that's a, a concern for people. I just really want this thing to look good. So, got some spray bottles for some product or cleaner I might throw together. I know I have to do certain uh, work underneath, um, you know, for the rust and stuff like that. And I'm gonna have to treat that before I can I can clean it. So I got these in preparation of that. I got a couple of sponges so I can give this thing a nice little, uh, oh, we're going to call it a tub bath because there's no running water. Um, got some tire foaming shine, you know, they're a little strong, but I feel like I'm going to need all the help I can get. I just don't know if these are fine enough to do what I need to do. But then I got these, right? So if one doesn't work, hopefully the other one will, will do it. Got some magic power with uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, so I think hard water stains is what I'm looking at. That might be what it is. And then I got some, uh, all purpose degreaser. Got some LA's totally awesome. You know, got some fines in there. Yes. Got some, uh, wash and wax, wash and wax for the ride. These are all just some dollar store fines. Got a wire brush again for more rust removal. I was really looking for the tough degreasing stuff that I'm gonna need for this. Put another water, uh, bucket of water on here, and then I'm gonna try to start uh, putting out some, 
some wash on the roof. So let's go. deal with every time unless they keep the door open and I don't really want to have to keep the door open. So water. So now just gotta grab the products out and I need to get some water on the front uh, so I think I need to get up on the roof. So originally my idea was to use this bucket to get it upstairs, but the dollar store... Oh, shit. <laughs> the dollar store bucket has failed me already, and I didn't even get started with it. The moment that I filled it up with this much water, it said nope, and it cracked right there. So I don't know. I was going to try to take this thing up up there and have it as my soap bucket but what I'm gonna do is reintroduce more of this water into that bucket oh. right maybe I can just work with this pop this in here that should be about it Right, get a nice swirl. I think I might have put too much. Got to try to make this last. All right, I'm gonna take this stuff up to the top of the bus and get started on the roof. So the bus is a mess right now, but we're gonna fix this. So, yeah, the top of the bus. We're gonna get all this off. We're gonna we're gonna go through. We're gonna clean up all these areas around the rivets. Anyway, I'm gonna start pouring some water on here. I gotta make a couple of trips. Fun fact, I do not have a hose for this project. So, uh, a lot of running up and downstairs. My neighbor's gonna love me. Did I put the sponge up here? No, I did not. What the fuck? All right. Yeah. I hope not. I hope I don't fall. I hope you don't fall. Got to get back down. So I can top it off. Be right back.
This would be a lot easier with an actual hose. So yeah, that's where I'm at with that. So, I pretty much got everything done what I can so far. So now, yeah, so I think I think this is the end of this video. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be chapter one, which is just uh, getting the bus and uh, cleaning it up. And uh, C bus should be looking pretty, pretty nice towards the end of this. So hopefully we'll be able to get all this stuff taken care of and uh, not really have to worry about too many delays. All right, guys. Thank you. I'm going to work on some other stuff today, but that's going to be in another video. I'll holler at you. Peace.